So I have to ask you two, does it get easier each time you get back together and get in the seat going from one, two, three, or four, or does it get harder? You yes and no. Yes, exactly. It's it's like raising a child. It never gets easier, but it's a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it's different. The, you know, the problems from the first one were not the, you know, became different from the problems in the second one and the third one and the fourth one. I mean, each movie is a modular film, Rick. Then, then, you know, you could actually release them as individual movies because they don't really... They're not episodic. You don't end in the bar and then the second one starts in the bar. You know, it's it's like James Bond's movies. They have the opening action sequence, which is completely separate from everything. And then you go into the story. So, you know, it gets easier in, in that your core actors, you know, and, you, you know, you've you've kind of figured out how their comfort level and where they are. But also to, to you know, to make it refreshing and make it different, that's, what makes it hard and you, you've got to try and one up yourself on each one. Cause obviously the audience changes, times change, moves on. You know, we've, it's been nine years since the last one. So we have to try and refresh it a little bit. We went back to our core audience instead of being PG 13, you know, we went back to a, a hard R cause that's what the fans wanted. Yeah. That, that was, that was something we learned as, is not to try to figure out who the audience is. We know who the audience is. We don't have to outsmart them. We just have to give them what they want. And and so we were really focused on putting together a script and a story that uh, allowed us to to do these these basic things for an Expendables franchise, get that freight train action coming right at the audience, but also deliver some really good characters, not just hire marquee names and try to fit them somehow in the story so they're in the movie we developed the script we developed the characters and then we went out to these great actors you know and and you know 50 cent and and megan the way she her relationship with jason and the way she stands up to christmas and, and it and it all works and people love that toe-to-toe -to -toe banter between them it's the flip side of you know the barney christmas uh relationship there how much from the original script because that's that's where everything starts is the script for you guys to sit there and say we've got something so so from the original script to the final script, because now you're adding in the characters. Sometimes you change things around. Sometimes the director's got to like do that. Does it change vastly from the, the start of the script to the finishing script, like in terms of like how you guys view the movie? No, we, you know, we started because there's so many people involved and they've got to learn their lines and they've got to learn their scenes that we pretty much, you know, a lot of movies evolve you know you you start with the you know the initial draft and by the end of it it's completely different we started pretty much and finished with the with the final draft what did change is once actors got on set you know they changed their dialogue a little bit because you know once they started interacting the magic happened they changed things around but scenes didn't change you know because it's too much to map out and choreograph um you know it, it's 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 not like you know what let's move over there and do that you can't do that because it's you know it's it's a it's a huge technical movie, so you have to stay on track. And, and you, you're dealing with a lot of different schedules and people from different parts of the world. You know, Eco and, and and Tony, and then you've got people from America, from Europe, and it's it's you know, and and they're all working actors, and they can all greenlight movies on their own. And so, putting it together like this is a is a tough. A, a tough process and it, and it, and it takes time. And, and, but in the end, hopefully it's all worth it. You know, that's, that's what we want to give the audience. I had the pleasure a couple of years ago of meeting Eco and I was joking around with him and he was doing a movie with Mark Wahlberg and Peter Berg. And so I asked him, I said, Hey, cause he's a great martial artist. And I said, listen, man, when you come to set, who is the alpha, you know, in that arena, I know that Eco would be the guy to like be able to beat up everybody, you know, and whatever. And, uh, he laughed at he was this guy. He's like, uh, I guess it has to be Peter Berg, right? Because Peter's the director. However, you two are the producers of this franchise. And but then there's also Sly Stallone. And so that and like and all these other major guys. So I wanted to ask you two gentlemen for fun. Who is the alpha when you guys come to set? It's not me. <laughs> I'm, just bringing, I'm just bringing the sandwiches look it, it's a big collaboration to be very honest with you i mean it, it depends yeah it depends yeah it really depends. It depends who's on set 
that's the thing. And, and it's it's not so much it's a, an alpha male. I mean, Le Les and my job is to make it run smooth, not, you know, puff your chest out and become an alpha male. You know, it's just a, you've got the call sheet, you've got to get through today. Um, you've got to get through, what does everyone need? You know, what do you need? You know, what's the problems? Scott, what do we need for this? Oh, we need this, we need that. Jason, you okay? Eco, you okay? You know, is there something that we need? You know, it, it's just, we just grease the wheels. Once once that train has left the track, you, you've just got to make sure to keep it going. Yeah, and the whole experience was was very nice. It was like you have all these big, big personalities but yet they're all very respectful of each other. They all understand that everybody gets their time. And, and so it, it works out very well. It's, you know, I know a lot of people ask me, oh my God, how, what's it like to deal with all those egos and this, that, and for Kevin and I, it, it's actually a pleasure because, you know, they are respectful and they're respectful of each other. And, and so it helps us a great deal.